BN direct candidate for Mulu constituency, Datuk Grawat Gala, told the Kalabi community in Miri to take the initiative to go home and vote, even if it means they had to travel an average of 10 hours. He said the May 7th Sarawak election was crucial, as it would decide the fate of Mulu for the next five years. Most, if not all, the rural constituencies in Sarawak have that same problem or same challenge whereby most of the voters in the constituency actually reside in town, outside the constituency. Of course, they go back from time to time for holidays or for some family reunions. Uh, Mulu constituency, when it was part Talangusan and part Ba'akalalan, voter turnout percentage has always been very low. It's around 50-55% uh, every election. The Miri BN Operations Centre tries to boost voter turnout by making flight arrangements for some 100 voters from Barrio in Mulu, but most will have to rely on land transport. The aircraft that flies to Barrio is a small aircraft, very limited seats. We know very well that we cannot get into those flights even if there are extra flights. The employer can allow us to go and vote for one day, but then to go back to Barrio, it's a minimum of four days if you go by road. It's very tiring. Looks like that's the way most of us are going. We definitely will go back, but until today I'm still not certain if I can have a seat by road or by a. <coughs> by road or by air. I'm still not sure yet. Mulu is a new state seat carved out from the Telak Wusan and Bakalalan constituencies. It has a voter population of 8,627, mainly comprising the native Kenya, Iban and Kalabit. Grawat is up against three other candidates, namely Independent Dr. Roland Dom Matu, DAP's Paul Raja, and PKR's Paul Bayou. <laughs>